guys to the how and to see through this video mainly we are going to cover about the arithmias so there are regular arithmias then recur and junction arithmias so from this video you'll get an idea about how we can interpret an arithmias from the ecg and the what are the like complicating arithmias and what are the arithmias which are less complicated so these are the things we are going to cover in this video so this video and the corresponding next few videos will be mainly focusing on the arithmia so keep watching the videos so any doubts please do a like please do a comment in the comment box and please do like share and subscribe keep watching this is originating from the area known as the pair whereas from the conjugal is known as conjugal whereas from the junction is known as junctional arithmia okay so as you guys you can see in the whiteboard i just uh, wrote some things okay so we can just review it so this is supraventricular which is originating from the atria there are atrial tachycardia fibrillation flutter and multifocal atrial tachycardia are classified under this atrial arrhythmias and when we are coming to the junction it is a kind of very complex topic so i'll just give you a brief description in the upcoming videos regarding this avnrt and ivrt so in the junctional arrhythmias it can be atrioventricular av nodal reciprocating tachycardia atrioventricular reciprocating tachycardia and junctional tachycardia also and junctional arrhythmias also like bradycardia and all then coming to the ventricle this will be like most life complicating arrhythmias this can be ventricular tachycardia ventricular fibrillation and ventricular flutter then ventricular extrasystole or supraventricular extrasystole that is not a subcategory i just written to just to explain okay so uh, when we are taking the extrasystole so what is meant by extrasystole so we have a normal conduction system as you guys know so um so we have sa node av on av node junction then his bundles then parkin j fibers so this will be like our normal conduction system okay but um the only this electrical activity can be pro uh, produced from this our um, electrical conduction system only and other cells does not have this property but sometimes what what happen some cells will have increased automaticity and uh, they will get um, like uh, characteristics or they can produce some electrical activity in the heart also that is known as extra systole so okay so uh, whatever the extra beats which is originating from the atria known as atrial extra systoles or a supraventricular extra systole also known as sve okay then extra beats which is producing from the ventricle known as ventricular extra systoles or um, ventricular extra systoles so ve or ventricular ectopics okay uh, some can be like junctional ectopics also but junctional can be seen very rarely okay so how to differentiate this atrial and ventricular extrasystoles first atrial extrasystoles will have very narrow qrs complexes and um, ventricle will be wide qrs complexes so when we are seeing an arrhythmia we are first differentiating whether it is supraventricular or ventricular based upon the qrs morphology only whether the ventricular complexes is narrow it can be originating from most of the time it will be originating from the atria and if it is wide mean it will be like originating from the down chambers known as ventricle okay so uh whatever the narrow qrss will be like supraventricular wide complexes will be ventricular so that is a basic thing um, will be helpful you to differentiate about different kind of arrhythmias okay so if in case this extra systoles are coming one extra systole is coming one ex one extra beat is coming and if it is going there is no any problem but sometimes if it is coming like one or two bits are coming continuously in a different heart rate can be precipitate into if it is a atrial beat it can be precipitated into supraventricular tachycardia if it is a ventricular beat it can be precipitated into ventricular tachycardia or the fibrillation or the flutter so be careful uh, then uh, the main thing is uh, main uh, question you have to take 
is during the treadmill test so if you guys are doing the treadmill test if you can see a ventricular extra systole or a supraventricular extra systole whether it is a bigeminy trigeminy quadrigeminy in the rush during exercise if it is getting settled down means no problem okay but in higher heart rate sometimes we will provoke this extra cells in our heart so uh, which will be leading to uh, to the to the production of this ventricular extrasystoles and supraventricular extrasystoles so at a higher heart rate so there are the chances like if in the higher heart rate it is coming means there are the chances uh, which can be precipitated into a ventricular tachycardia or a supraventricular tachycardia so be careful you guys are doing a tmt test so if you are seeing a uh, extrasystoles be careful just keep in your mind okay so when we are coming to the atrial arrhythmias i just uh, made a small short form will be very helpful for your examination example flat me flutter it will tachycardia uh, then it will flutter uh, multifocal tachycardia it will extra systoles so this is just a small short form will be helpful for your examination not for any other like purpose so just a small short form okay will be helpful for you then so um now i will show you how this atrial extra will look like ventricular extra will look like okay okay so as i told you so this is so as i told you uh, first i will explain about the atrial ectopics so atrial ect ectopics are originating from the atria so it will have a different previous morphology okay so when you are seeing this rhythm strip you can see here there is a abnormal beat so uh, when we are taking the rr interval of each of the complexes this is same this is same this is different this is more this is same this is same so you can see in this only one bit is coming earlier so that is known as atrial ectopics so this bit this bit comes earlier so what happens all the rhythm got resetted so because of this beat only all the rhythm changes so this is the extra bit which is coming from the ex extra multiple focus so when we are seeing the conduction system sa node av node his bundle a bundle branches parking fibers so from where the atrial ectopics are originating so from the atria other than this conduction system it can be some cells from here or here there from this area above the atria this complexes this extra elliptical beads are produced so which can be seen in the ecg so we can see what are the characteristics of this abnormal p waves so the p waves can be normally the p waves will be like this okay sometimes the p wave will have this hum and p wave will have the abnormal morphology than the other complexes when you can see my drawing is not at all good uh, so <coughs> this p wave have different morphology compared to this p wave so because this is coming from a different area rather than the conduction system so that is this that is mean by this abnormal p wave then what is meant by the resetting rhythm as i told you this coming area but even though the conduction system has to reset the rhythm so the rest of the rhythm will be like normal so one is coming earlier it won't change the whole rhythm the rest will be normal only this beat in this area rhythm will be different then qrs morphology will be less than 120 as i told you um, if it is a atrial rhythm will be narrow qrs if it is a ventricle will be wide qrs because uh, this p waves extra beats which is coming from the atria is conducting normally into the ventricle there is no any problem with the ventricular conduction so the complexes will not have this white qrs morphology it will be like normal qrs see you can see there is no any changes in the qrs morphology only the p waves are changing so that is meant by atrial okay coming to the ventricular extra systoles or ventricular ectopy these are extra ectopic foci or uh, some extra cells which is um, originating which keep uh, 
so coming to the ventricular extra cyst also are ventricular ectopics these are the extra beats which is originating from the ventricle so as you can see this is the normal conduction system as i already explained you later so you can see the small green uh, things i have marked so that if I, you can assume this is the extra cells which is in the ventricles so because of this if this automaticity is high uh, compared to this a uh, normal conduction system this ventricular ectopics can be origin so we can see this is the extra bits uh, so this is a normal qrs complex this is another one this is the third one you can see this shape is different from the this shape so this is a ventricular ectopy then it is coming to a normal rhythm so this, there is an extra bit so we can say this is not coming from the conduction system because this uh, this shape is different so this is known as a ventricular ectopics so we can see what are the four main characteristics of this ventricular ectopy it will have a broad qrs complex more than 120 millisecond so normal qrs complex duration should be less than 120 millisecond so this will be more see when we are taking this q wave to the s wave it is wide compared than this it is more it is prolonged so that is that's what i told you so it will have a broad qrs complex very wide complexes resetting the rhythm here in this rhythm is not changing because i didn't draw that properly uh, so resetting rhythm means compared than the atrial ectopics uh, when has if any ventricle ectopic is coming you can see how the whole the rhythms will be like keep on changing so this ventricle ectopic is coming so qrs complex is coming one normal complexes then back to normal okay so so this bit is coming so there is some long duration after that one bit is coming this bit is missing then again it is going to the normal so this is known as resetting rhythm so if the ventricle uh, from the ventricle if any extra bit is coming so it takes the heart so it will create a resetting rhythm so the heart should reset the hold the rhythm to continue back to this normal bit so that is what is happening here then this compensatory pose compensatory pose so to as the rhythm is resetting there are different poses is happening like see this is there is a pause there is a pause in the rhythm see in this there is no any other qrs or p waves are not happening here so this is known as compensatory pose this is quite common in ventricular ectopics rather than the atrial ectopics then discordant std discordant std is also i didn't draw here so what is meant by discordant std so discordant std means uh, it is known as st depression or a t wave in inversion which is happening during a ventricular ectopics so this is a normal p wave qrs t so this is a ectopy so it can come like this so this is a ventricular ectopy and you can see here the t wave is separate here the t wave is in inverted so here you can see st segment depression also so discordant stt changes mean st segment depression and t wave inversions which is showing in the ecg due to this ectopics this st depression and t wave inversion we can see in lvh strain pattern and all so discordant means st depression and t wave inversion so just keep in the mind so this is all about the ventricular ectopics okay so uh, as we discussed about the ventricular ectopics and atrial ectopics so i'll show you some uh, kind of fashion or kind of pattern which they are following in some kind of rhythms so in this ventricular ectopy atrial ectopy i told you one beat can come and go and two beat can come and go and three beats can come and go sometimes it can all the bits can uh, can come together and go so that there are different fashion so different patterns for the conduction if it is taking ventricle or atrial it is the same 
so there are bigemini trigemini quadrigemini and couplets or triplets these are a kind of fashions which this extra bits are following so i'll just explain it explain it about okay so i told you sometimes this set topics like ventricular ectopy and atrial ectopy can we come in a sequence or in a fashion so i'm going to explain that so you can see this is a um, in this column i mean i'll mention about the ventricle and in this i have mentioned about the atrial so it can come in isolated that means single bit can come and go see this is an extra ventricular bit which is come isolated rest is the normal complexes so that is isolated so one is coming but um, next one will be the normal rhythm when we are taking the atrial ectopy normal bit normal bit this is coming earlier the normal bit normal bit so this is the extra bit so this is atrial we can see it is narrow complexes so it is coming as isolated and going so there is no any problem with the rhythm sorry with the um so you can see this is a normal bit this is a normal bit this is an earlier bit normal normal so this is coming earlier and see this rhythm is changing so this is extra bits this is narrow complex so it will be from the atria then bigemini coming to the ventricular bigemini coming to the atrial bigemini second bit will be always the extra bits one is normal second is abnormal one is normal second is abnormal this is wide complexes this second bit is wide complex so this is ventricular so ventricular bigemini second by means the second bit in a similar fashion it is coming and going coming to the atria the same thing but the qrs shape will be married we can see normal bit this one coming earlier normal this one coming earlier then normal 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 you can see the second bit of all of the rhythm is narrow and this is the extra bit so it will be atrial second bit by gemini then try gemini the same like by gemini the third bit will be abnormal third bit normal normal ventricular ectopy normal normal ventricular ectopy that is tri gemini third one will be ventricular ectopy coming to the atria it is the same normal normal extra bit coming to a resetting rhythm normal normal extra bit resetting rhythm normal normal extra bit resetting rhythm so we can see in this because of this beats third bit only all the rhythm is changing so you can see a similar fashion this rhythm is following you can see here also a normal normal uh, uh, ectopy bit normal normal ectopy so because of this this is following in a similar fashion so as i told you sometimes this is this can be come together and which can be pre precipitated into a ventricular tachycardia this can be precipitated into a svt so be careful about the rhythms then coming to the fourth and fifth classification of the ectopy so this is also a kind of fashion or a pattern which this ectopics can be followed in sometimes this will be like couplets and atrial and ventricular couplets couplet means as a couple it is coming together it is coming then going okay here you can see normal bit normal bit two bits coming together then come back coming back to the normal bit so as a couple it is coming triplet means three peoples together so normal bit normal bit three ventricular ectopy then coming back to normal coming to the atrial triplets normal bit normal bit three is coming together then it is going so as i told you if it is coming more complexes are coming together very dangerous so this was the like easiest and uh, very understandable topic in a basic arrhythmia and when i was studying and this was the most easiest topic i liked also before so i think you guys will also like this pattern coming to the another arrhythmias this will be like very easiest portion okay so any doubts please do a comment i'm just revising the all so if it is a ventricular or ectopics one bit 
isolated. Uh, second bit is extra bit by Gemini. One, two normal bit. Third one is um, extra bit by Gemini. Normal, normal ectopy. Normal, normal ectopy. Normal, normal ectopy. In the same, fourth bit is ventricular means that is known as trigemini two couples are coming together couplets three are coming together triplets that's it this it is the easiest area in the arrhythmias okay we are ending uh, here so this um, i will explain the first main arrhythmia of the atrial arrhythmias which is known as atrial tachycardia so atrial tachycardia i'll just explain in this video and i'm going to end this video today and uh, in the further upcoming videos i'll review uh, about the rest of the arrhythmias also okay so we are discussing about the atrial tachycardias so what is meant by the atrial tachycardia so atrial tachycardias so as i told you 60 to 100 is a normal heart rate so whatever the arrhythmias or in the rhythm which is more than 100 known as track tachycardia so when we are seeing the ecg and we can see uh, the heart rate is more than 100 at least it should be around 120 beats per minute usually so then it can be a tilt tachy then if the qrs complex is very narrow so we can confirm so it is coming from above the ventricle that is supraventricle okay so it is tachy and we can see the p waves we can see the p waves separately in a rhythm uh, around a heart rate of 120 so that will be like mostly atrial tachycardia and if the p wave having same morphology in the whole strip it will be like atrial tachycardia focal atrial tachycardia okay and if the p wave will p wave morphology p wave morphology is varying in the each beat so it will be like multifocal atrial tachycardia so in atrial tachycardia there are two type of classification fat and mat focal atrial tachycardia and multifocal atrial tachycardia so in the conduction system it is coming from the atria so this is the main thing uh, based upon this only we'll just review about the tachycardia okay so i'm just um, giving you a brief review uh, as we discussed today so arrhythmias means abnormal heart rhythms usual heart rate will be from 60 to 100 beats per minute can be supraventricular or ventricular in the supraventricular there are two type atrial then junctional or atrial ventricular okay so this is together is coming in a category known as supraventricular then ventricular it is the separate and this svt supraventricular tachycardia and ventricular tachycardia fibrillation flutter these are the most complicated dangerous arrhythmias okay then coming to the uh, arrhythmias before i uh, went into the arrhythmias i inform you i sorry i explained you about the ectopics okay what is atrial ectopy what is ventricular ectopy what are the fashions which uh, the sect of is usually follow what is meant by bigemini trigemini quadrigemini couplet triplets that all okay in atrial and ventricular then we discussed about this atrial tachycardia what is meant by multifocal atrial tachycardia what is meant by uh, unifocal lateral tachycardia okay so these are the topics which we covered today so you can just revise it you can see the ecgs also okay i'll just try to review the ecg just try to compare uh, the drawings that i uh, draw today okay so any doubts please do a comment so if you have any doubts or if you want me to post some another videos anything just do a comment then i can just understand okay so that's it Thank you so much. Keep on watching.